613 this morning. Hope you had a fun Halloween. It was certainly a chilly Halloween, especially during the daytime hours. That was what was so remarkable. On record, the previous coldest Halloween we saw in Brownsville, Harlingen, and McAllen, low 60s, 63, the coldest Halloween day in Brownsville, 61 in Harlingen, 63 in McAllen. And what actually happened yesterday? Yesterday, the high temperature in Brownsville was just 58 degrees, so that makes it the coldest Halloween day on record. And particularly in Brownsville, is noteworthy because those records go back until the 1800s. Uh, so uh, remarkable how chilly it was for Halloween Day. Notice we tied the record in Harlingen and we're two degrees cooler than the previous record in McAllen. So yes, this was the coldest Halloween day. Not quite the coldest Halloween night. Back in 1993, it was actually in the mid 30s for lows, but coldest Halloween day yesterday. Pretty remarkable. And we weren't the only ones. It was a cold Halloween for many. It is a cold November 1st for many. Not here in the valley, though. Notice that on the entire map of Texas, there's this little shade of green in deep south Texas. That's where cloud cover has lingered during the overnight hours. So our temperatures were not able to drop as much as they did over the rest of the state where skies are in many places clear to mostly clear. And that's why you have 20s, 30s. And look at that temperature in Austin for November 1st. That is crazy to be in the mid 20s, uh, but everybody seeing below normal temperatures, including here. We're normally in the low 60s this time of year and said it's mid to low 50s and we're going to be below normal this afternoon. A normal high temperature is in the mid 80s and said 71 today. And that's because a lot of the day winds are going to stay out of the north and you see all those cold temperatures to our north. So that's going to keep things in check. Now some sun is going to come out a mostly cloudy start, but a lot of the day is going to be partly cloudy and low humidity all day long. This afternoon is going to be feeling fantastic, especially because it's not going to be that breezy either. Winds in many places around five miles per hour, closer to the coast around 10 miles per hour, but not nearly the kind of wind we were dealing with yesterday. Winds are going to be light tonight, partly cloudy for much of the night, but gradually skies will become mostly cloudy. Not quite as cold as last night. We're looking at the upper 50s, so a chilly night, but not super chilly. A light jacket should be perfectly fine, especially because there's going to be no wind chill factor. Now this is a rain chance, not for today, but tomorrow morning. This is our only rain chance for the entire weekend, and it is best near the coast. A 20% chance of seeing shower storms for most of Adalgo County, northeastern Star County, a 10% chance. I really do think that central and western Star County are going to be staying completely dry. It is a little weak front that's coming through, and basically all it's going to be doing is briefly increasing our cloud cover in the morning, briefly bringing us a few showers, most of us staying dry, but then reinforcing the low humidity. Though the humidity is going to be gradually rising today and tonight, it's going to be going back down tomorrow afternoon on the other side of that front. So a high of 73 tomorrow. It's going to be a breezy day, not going to be breezy Sunday. Sunday's going to be kind of like today, except I think there's going to be even more sun, mostly sunny. A chilly start will be around 50 Sunday morning, but 78 in the afternoon, low humidity Saturday, low humidity Sunday, still comfortable humidity next Monday, but feeling muggy again by next Tuesday.